Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make an apple coaster. Or you could use this for bunting as well. So for this tutorial we're going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn, that's a yarn weight of three, but you can use any yarn weight that you like really. And I've chosen obviously some red for the apple, but you could also use green if you wanted to. Um, some green for the leaves and you definitely don't need this much, but uh, a little bit of grey for the stalk. You can of course use brown. I was going to use brown, but I couldn't find brown to hand, so I just made a little grey one instead. So and we, with that yarn we are going to be using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook and you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle, tapestry needle as well for sewing in those ends. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start off with our red yarn and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain four. So do a little slip knot and then we're going to chain four. So one, two, three and four. So chain four. And then we're going to put our hook into our first chain. Red, unfortunately, doesn't show up massively well on this camera, unless that's just me. But find your first chain, put your hook in there, your first chain. Bring the arm through the first chain and bring it straight through the loop on your hook. And that creates a little lo a loop of your chain joined at the beginning and the end. And in the middle is a hole, obviously. And into that hole, we are going to do 10 double crochet okay so 10 double crochet this is in US terminology so we're going to yarn over to do a double crochet put our hook through the middle for that center hole bring the yarn through then just wrapping it around the chains do your double crochet okay like so and we want 10 of these so that's one Yarn over again, put your hook into the middle of that loop of chains. Bring the yarn through the middle and just wrapping it around the chain, doesn't matter how many chains you've got now, do a double crochet. So that's two. We need ten of these. So two, three, back in again, and nine. And then the last one, yarn over, back into that centre loop again, bring the yarn through, do a double crochet, 10. Okay, so we've got 10 double crochets in the centre of that four chain loop. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to find our first double crochet that we did, which is here. Put a hook into there, bring the yarn through that first double crochet, and then straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch and then we join we've joined our round if you've got a hole in the middle you can just pull your tail end a little bit and if it doesn't tighten it may mean you've gone into your chain one space uh, your first chain space instead of the uh, center of that loop okay and then we're going to move on to round two for round two we're going to begin by chaining two so one and two so chain two I'm going to do one double crochet in the same first double crochet that we just slip stitched into. So that one we just slip stitched into beneath your two chain. Put our hook in there and we are going to do a double crochet. And we're going to count those first two double crochet as, uh, first two chains as a double crochet. Sorry. So those first two chains we're going to count as a double crochet. So effectively we've got two double crochet now. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. So in that next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. So one, and then go back into the same stitch and do another one. And we're gonna do two double crochet in each stitch around. So we're gonna do two double crochets in each stitch. So each stitch has two double crochets in them. So the next stitch we do two double crochet. One, and go back into the same stitch. So you've got two in there as well. Okay, so do two double crochet in each stitch around. And so we're doubling up from 10 stitches to 20. So we're putting two in each. Just two in the next one. And just coming up to the very last stitch. Two double crochet in there. One and another one in the same stitch. 
and then we are back at the beginning and you can check you've got 20 stitches as well don't forget to count the first two chains as a double crochet as well then what we want to do is in those see those first two chains that you did in the second one so there's the first one there's our second one put your hook into that second chain of your two so top of your two chains put your hook in there and do a little slip stitch so I'm going to bring that through that second chain and straight through the loop on our hook to join the round okay so by the end of that round you should have a stitch count of 20 then we're going to do round three and we're going to do the same thing again we're going to chain two at the beginning but then we're going to go straight into the next stitch so you don't want to go back into that top of your two chain where you slip stitched you want to go into that first stitch so it's very important when you slip stitch at the end of round two to make sure that you slip stitch into that second chain and not that first double crochet otherwise it will mess up your stitch count for this round so ignoring your top of your chain two where you slip stitch find the first proper stitch and in there we are going to put a hook and do two double crochet so one go back into that stitch and do another double crochet then in the next stitch we're just going to do one double crochet so just one double crochet in the next stitch just the one just one by itself and then we're just going to repeat this pattern around so in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet one and go back into the same stitch to do another one so you've got two in there and then the next stitch we're just doing one double crochet just the one double crochet then the next stitch we do two double crochet so you're just alternating between doing two double crochet and one double crochet Let's go back in there again so you've got two in there Okay, so we're going to repeat that round doing one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, back to the beginning, alternating. And you should end on two double crochet and you should have a stitch count of 30, uh, making sure to count those first two chains as a double crochet as well. Okay, so we've done two double crochet there, so in the next stitch it's going to be one double crochet one double crochet and in the next stitch two double crochet okay so just going up to the last couple of stitches so second to last one just the one double crochet and in the very last stitch we're doing two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch okay then you want to do the same thing again find your second chain not your first double crochet so make sure you find that second chain put your hook into there neatly as you can and do a little slip stitch to join the round okay so by the end of that round you should have a stitch count of 30 okay so what we're going to do now is going to move on to round four so for round four we are going to chain two to begin one and two chain two i'm going to count that as a double crochet then in the next stitch so next first proper double crochet it's so not the top of your two chain where you slip stitch find that first proper stitch in there we are going to do one double crochet it's going to do something a bit different on the next two rounds you see so one double crochet in there then the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet so one and another one in the same stitch okay and that should line up with your previous two double crochet you can see there then the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet by itself just the one then in the next stitch we're doing one double crochet by itself and then we are going to do two double crochet in the next stitch which should line up with your previous two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch okay so you should should line up with your previous increase then in the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet just the one then in the next stitch we're just going to do one double crochet okay 
and then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch which should line up with your previous two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch which should line up with your previous two double crochet okay so quite a sort of pattern happening there but then we're going to do something a little bit different in the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet so one double crochet in the next stitch but in the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet so we yarn over go into the next stitch pull full three to do a half double crochet okay then in the next stitch where we've got our previous two double crochet we're going to do first of all one single crochet then we're going to go back into the same stitch and do a slip stitch so just bring it through stitch and then straight for the loop okay so you've got a single crochet and a slip stitch in there then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch as well so in the next stitch we do a little slip stitch then in the next stitch we do a single crochet okay so we're starting to get a little bit of shape down the bottom and then where we've got our previous two double crochet we're going to do a half double crochet to begin half double crochets pull through all three and a double crochet so go back into the same stitch again and do a double crochet okay so you've got a half double crochet and a double crochet in that uh, stitch there then we're going to do one double crochet in the next two so in the next stitch we do one double crochet then we're in the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet okay and then we're going to do two double crochet which should line up with your previous two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch okay then we're going to do one double crochet in the next two again so one double crochet in the next stitch and in the next stitch one double crochet and then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch it should line up with your previous two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch then we're going to do one double crochet in the next two so one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch which should line up with your previous two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch two okay then we're going to do one double crochet in the next two stitches one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and then that should leave you with one stitch left where you can see your previous two double crochet but in there what we're going to do we're going to do one double crochet to begin one double crochet then what we're going to do is we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to slip stitch in that stitch as well okay I'm going to slip stitch okay so those little two chains are going to act as a double crochet but don't worry if you can't really see them then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch up see these two chains we did at the beginning we're going to do a one slip stitch into each of those so find that first chain that you did at the very beginning of the round and put your hook into there neatly as you can and we'll do a little slip stitch and then find that second chain that you did put your hook into there and do a little slip stitch as well okay like so then we are going to move on to round five okay so for round five what we're going to do in the next stitch which is going to be our first proper stitch there after your two chain in there we're going to do 
start off with a single crochet we'll do a single crochet and we're going to do a half double crochet in there as well so go back into that same first stitch and do a half double crochet as well okay so you've got a single crochet and a half double crochet in there then in the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet okay and then in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet okay and it should line up with your previous two double crochet so in the next stitch we do two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch okay so you've got two double crochet in there then we're going to do one double crochet in the next three stitches this time. So one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. And one double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. We should line up with your previous two double crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch you've got two double crochet in there two in there then we're going to do one double crochet in the next three again so one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch okay so one double crochet in the next three then we're going to do two double crochet should line up with your previous increase two double crochet one and another one in the same stitch okay so you've got two double crochet in there then we're going to do one double crochet in the next three again so one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch okay so one double crochet in the next three then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch which should line up with your previous increase two double crochet so one put another one in the same stitch but then what we're going to do is we're just going to do one double crochet in the next stitch so one double crochet in the next stitch then in the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet so we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch okay and then it gets a little bit um, harder because you did slip stitches before so in the next stitch there which is going to be a little slip stitch in the previous round we are going to do a single crochet a bit hook in there we're going to do a single crochet and we're also going to go back in there again and do a little slip stitch And then what we're going to do is we are going to do a slip stitch over the next three stitches. So you've got one, two, three, one slip stitch in each of those. So in the next stitch, do a little slip stitch. Then in the next stitch, which is right in the middle, going to do a little slip stitch. And then in the next stitch, do a little slip stitch. Okay. Then in the next stitch, which should be a little bit easier to work into, we're going to do a single crochet. So your sort of increases and stuff like that all get a bit mixed up down the bottom. So don't worry about trying to match up your increases or anything. So we do a single crochet in that next stitch. Then in the next stitch, which you should see is an increase on the previous round, we are going to do a half double crochet to, be to begin, half double crochet. And then we're going to go back in there again so go back in the same stitch again and do a double crochet. So you've got a half double crochet and a double crochet in there. And then we're going to do one double crochet over the next three stitches. So one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. And one double crochet in the next stitch. Then the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet, so it should line up with your previous increase. Two double crochet, one and another one in the same stitch, two in there, okay. Then we're going to do one double crochet over the next three again, so one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to do two double crochet, which should line up with your previous two double crochet. So 
So one and another one in the same stitch, two double crochet in there. Then we're going to do one double crochet over the next three again. So one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so one double crochet in the next three. Then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch, which should line up with your previous two double crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. Then we are going to do one double crochet over the next two stitches. So one double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch. But then in the next stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. So a half double crochet in that next stitch, which should be your last stitch. And then what we're going to do is where you've got the little two chain and then we slip stitch down, if you remember on the previous round. So you've got those two little two chains you did. Underneath there it should be a little gap. So it'll call a two chain space. You can see there, a little two chain space. So the gap between your last um, what was it? It was a um, it was a double crochet, wasn't it? So that double crochet and chain two you did at the end of the last round. The gap in between there, we're going to put a hook and we're going to do a single crochet. Put a hook in there, do a single crochet. And we're also going to do a slip stitch in there as well. So go back into that gap again and do a little slip stitch. Okay. Then we are going to slip stitch in the center. So find somewhere in the center, it should be like a little proper stitch there. It's actually a fake stitch, but anyway, that's something else altogether. Put your hook into the center of your top of your apple in there. But instead of yarning over with the red, we're actually going to bring in our green. So put our red down and then we're just going to put our green over, hold the tail end with our finger and just bring that through the stitch and straight for the loop on your hook to do a little slip stitch. And now we're working with our green so we can pull our red tail end nice and tight. And there we are, we should be in the center of our top of our apple and now working with the green. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some leaves now. Okay, so now we're working with our green. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so chain six. Then in our second chain from our hook, so we don't count the loop on our hook, there's number one, number two, so second chain. I'm gonna put our hook in there, but only put it under one bit of yarn because that helps you see the chain when you need to work into it again, which we are going to. So. Putting it on only under one bit of yarn, we're going to do a single crochet in there. Then in the next chain, we're going to do a half double crochet. Again, just going under one bit of yarn, half double crochet. Next chain, we'll do a double crochet. In the next chain we're going to do a half double crochet again just going under that one bit of yarn half double crochet and that should leave you with one chain there and in there we're going to do a single crochet and then we need to repeat these steps on the opposite side and because you've only worked under one bit of yarn get my hook out of the way should be able to see these chains still easily on the other side. Okay, I've done a video in more detail of crocheting into your foundation chains again. Hopefully you'll be able to see on this video too. You see there, you can see the, the chains. You should have five chains. Okay, you should have five chains. So to repeat that again in the opposite direction, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to do a single crochet in the same last chain that we just worked into. So go back into that last chain again and do another single crochet, which is gonna be the first one in the opposite direction. That makes sense. 
So you effectively you end up with two, let's pull that tail end, you end up with two single crochet in that last chain. Then we're going to turn our work round. Then finding the next chain, yarn over, just open it up, you see the little hole there? You hook into that little hole. And in there we're going to do a half double crochet because we're just mirroring the other side, so a half double crochet. And again, see that little hole there? We're going to put our hook in there, do a double crochet in that next chain. I'll put a link in the description, uh, remind me if I don't, to my tutorial on how to work into your foundation chains if this is something new to you. Then in the next chain we're going to do a half double crochet again, you can find that little dark hole there, but you can actually see that one opening up. Half double crochet in there. Then the very last one we are going to do a single crochet. Okay, so you've just mirrored the other side and worked back into these chains here. Now they're nice and easy to see when you've got the stitches in them. Uh, then what we're going to do is, in the next stitch, as if you're working in the round, find that next stitch at the top, which would be that single crochet. Put your hook into there and do a little slip stitch. Okay. Now it's quite rounded at the top, so to get a nice point at the top of your leaf, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one and two, then we're going to slip stitch in that same stitch we just slip stitched into. So go back in there again and do another little slip stitch. And that creates a nice little point at the top of your leaf, which will be more clear at the end. Then we're going to slip stitch down the end to the base. So in the, over the next four stitches, we're going to slip stitch. Let's do a slip stitch in the next stitch, one, slip stitch in the next stitch, two, next stitch, three, and next stitch, four. Okay, so slip stitch down the next stitches. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put a hook back into where we join the green in the first place. So find that center at the top of your apple and just put your hook in there and do a little slip stitch. And that just secures the leaf a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. We're just gonna repeat that again. You can just, of course, have one leaf. You don't have to have two if they find that difficult. So again, what we're gonna do is chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and in our second stitch from hook, so don't count the loop on the hook, there's the first one, there's a second. Put a hook in there, just going onto that one bit of yarn and do a single crochet. Then a, get some more yarn, then a half double crochet in the next chain. So half double crochet in the next chain. Oops, helps me yarn over first. Half double crochet in the next chain double crochet in the next chain, then a, getting this other leaf out of the way, half double crochet in the next chain, then in that last chain we're doing just a single crochet, but we're going to do two in there because we want to mirror the other side so it's easier to do the first one going back in this direction as you're facing in the same direction so just go back in there again that last chain and do another single crochet because that last chain becomes your first chain in the opposite di direction but it's easier to do the first single crochet um, at the end of this this row so then we're going to yarn over turn it upside down and find that second chain along, do a half double crochet, okay, then in the next chain along it's a double crochet, then the next chain along it's a half double crochet, then in the very last one so I just what I do is put my hook there and then just push 
it goes in, finds it into a single crochet. Then we slip stitch in that first single crochet. So next stitch along, do a little slip stitch. Chain two, one and two to create a little point. Slip stitch in there again in that same first single crochet that you did. Okay, slip stitch there, then slip stitch down the edge back to the base. So over the next four stitches, do a little slip stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then do the same thing again. Put your hook back into the center of that top of your apple. Neatly as you can. Get the tail ends in the way. And then instead of yarning over with the green, we are actually going to yarn over with our grey this time. So put our green out of the way. Just hold that finger, bring that through. And through the green on our hook, and then you can just pull your tail ends get that tight. Then we're going to do a little stalk in the middle. Don't worry if your leaves are all over the place, we'll, we'll sort out their positioning at the end. To do the little stalk we just chain six, so one, it's a bit loose there, so to get rid of that you can just pull your tail ends. Okay, so chain six, so what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, then in our second chain from a hook, so don't count the loop in your hook, because one, two, we're going to do little slip stitches, and we're basically just going to slip stitch down to the end, so slip stitch in there, then slip stitch in the remaining chains down to the end, two, three, should end up with five, doesn't have to be perfect though, three, and my fifth one is very very small because I pulled my tail in so I'm actually going to I'm just going to skip should I skip that last one or should I try and get one in there let's try and get one in there turns out pedantic you are now I'm going to skip it <laughs> and then we just put our hook back into the centre of our top apple and do a little slip stitch like I said it doesn't have to be perfect then we can cut all our colours, so I'm going to cut our grey, our green and our red, get all those out of the way, then you just pull up and then we just need to position our little leaves to face the right direction. And then it's just a matter of hiding your tail, so I'll hide this one just to show you, send this one to the back. that on and I'm just going to sew, sew to the back, turn it over and I'm just going to sew along just to secure this in place. Sew it for the green because it's darker. Sew for a few little stitches and back in the opposite direction. just trim the excess down. Okay so I'm going to do that for all the remaining tail ends and I'll come back and show you my finished apple coaster. Okay. okay so I've finished tying in all my ends on the back and there is our finished apple coaster. But these also make great bunting as well. You can make lots of these and then hang them up as bunting for a children's room or a party, which would be quite nice. So all that's left to do is to get your cup and to test it out. There we go. So we've got our little, little cup and there we go. Fits nicely onto the coaster. There we go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along like I always say and uh, let me know if uh, you fancy any more of these like coaster type uh, designs and uh, I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Cheers guys, bye!